All right, so we've got the basic structure of the view system set up. However, the whole purpose of the views is uh, to allow it to change dynamically. And right now we have it hard coded in as being a page. So now we have to figure out how to determine what kind of view this is going to be when a page is loaded. So let's hop back over to the browser here and let's go into our database. Now, I mentioned way, 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 way back in the beginning of the series, and I know we're on almost video 100 right now if we aren't already, so you might not remember, but uh, I had mentioned how I was going to change this um, when we were creating the pages table. I was going to change this later on, and, and later on has now come. And this here, we're going to take another kind of page, pardon the pun, out of the way WordPress does things. Uh, and we're going to do it similar, but again, not exact. But uh, I, I kind of like how they do it, so I'm going to model it after that. Since they started out as being a blog and then kind of turned into a CMS, um, their kind of main content table was called posts, as in blog posts. Well, the same kind of information that is stored in a blog is pretty much the same information, um, give or take, a couple things that uh, a page would need. A title, a body, um, the user who submitted it, a date, things like that. Those can all be used for pages as well, and other things too. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually change this table to be called posts, and then everything in the posts will then have a post type and that's what's going to determine what view is loaded. So right now since this pages table only has pages in it, the post type would then be page for each one of these. And not sure if this is making sense to you yet, but uh, let's go ahead and start on this. So make sure you have the pages table open and we're going to go over to operations. Now depending on which version of PHP my admin you're using this uh, maybe laid out a little different, but we're going to look for table options and rename table to, um, and I believe in the older versions of PHP my admin, this little area here is, is down below on the second row. So if you're not seeing it, that's probably where it's at. So we're going to change this to posts. Click go. And it's as easy as that. Oh, and here, this is probably how you see it if you don't have this version. Uh, anyway. So now we're in the post table. And we're going to want to change the structure. And what we're going to do is we're going to give it a type. Now, I've gone back and forth on this in my head on how to handle the type. Because what we could do is we could use an integer and just assign a numeric value to what kind of type it is. So say maybe a page is type 1. A blog is type 2, gallery type 3, etc. Or we could use a text representation of it. So instead of a number, it would be a page, page, blog, blog, gallery, gallery, etc. And there's a couple things to consider here. Using a text value will, at the end of the day, use more memory because you're storing more characters in your table. Now, if you're making a page or a website that is that, uh, is only going to have a couple of pages or whatever, you know, just not a lot in this table, then, you know, it really doesn't matter. But if you've got some giant website with hundreds and thousands of pages and blog posts and etc., you know, those characters can add up. Now, whether it's enough to really put a damper on things at the end of the day, I don't really know. But then on the flip side, if we use a numeric value or an integer, then all we really have when we query this post table is a number and we need to somehow figure out how to make that number into in this case page so we know what kind of view it is because we're going to need to tell it what file in the views folder to pull up so we're going to need to add something to the database that's going to store these page types so what we could do is we could go into settings here and we could add some values here as far as page types or we could add a totally separate table to store those types. I'm going to go ahead and go with the table idea. 